right, good morning to everybody. Today we're working on this 2017 Hyundai Ionic, and this episode I would like to show you guys um, the high voltage battery cooling fan servicing. All right, the procedure to take it out, where is it located, and of course clean it and make some advice about how to perform the best servicing for hybrid system on this particular vehicle. All right, so we will continue. All right, so after removing this couple of bolts, little screws from this side cover, all right, you will see that we have a little more access, all right? Then we're gonna take out those little brackets from there and move the mat. So, we'll continue. All right, guys. So, you wanna remember that when you see an orange cable, it means high voltage, right? So, you go ready unplug these our service plug with its system interlock switch right it goes on top of it because we really want to cut the high voltage and it's just for precaution because remember we got to take out the fan right so if we want to do a little comparison of this system compared for the for example with Toyota that it's also air cooling this system is pretty much well sealed comparison to that and um, it also needs servicing, but not as often as Toyota, for example. All right, so we'll continue. We're just gonna take out this connector from here. We're gonna take out this connector from here, right? And um, start removing the high voltage cooling fan. So we'll continue. All right, so we put aside our, our volt, high voltage service plug. We took out this air duct disconnect the main fan connector and this system interlock we we'll put it on the side and uh, all right we have access to the first screw and the next one the right there all right so we'll continue all right so we took up the frame now we have way much better access to the compartment then we just unbolt this top cover all right, so I will put it over here. I will explain about this parts later. And then, here we are. We have access to the high voltage battery cooling fan. And we can take it up. Yeah, there it is. Yep. And as you can see, let me show you pretty fast. This window duct is directly to the lithium polymer cells. All right, it's pretty much a direct flow. And we have access over here to the high voltage battery cooling fan. We're just gonna clean it and put it back in. All right guys, so before disassembling this fan, you wanna be aware that this motor uses a, a bore right behind the blades. So it's not a blade that you could just simply wash over, all right? We just disassemble very delicate. We will blow it and use this type of brush completely dry all right I would really never recommend to do to use any um, sticky silicone or whatever you want any product all right it's just a dry clean so we'll continue all right so we just finished to unscrew this side cover and the electric motor itself and ready to go out there you go now we have access to it all right so we'll use just a, a dry hand brush just mop up a little bit inside the housing and that's it we'll put it back in so we'll continue all right so our hybrid high voltage battery cooling fans we just service it clean it dry clean it, by the way non-sticky products i always want to remind you guys about that Right, because we remember the sticky product, uh, silicone, shiny stuff that whatever you use to clean inside your compartment, everything goes inside the plates and the plates will absorb and then will absorb dust way much faster and it will reduce pretty much its performance. All right, so you always you want to be aware of when you're cleaning inside your compartment to a dry clean. No silicone, no shiny, sticky products. All right. 
So, let's assemble this. Uh, Alright. So everything is already blown with, blown with air and uh, it's pretty much clean, so we will have access to these. Two nuts and the bolt on the top. Then we will put the cover, then the frame, and that's it. So we'll continue. All right, guys. Um, we already assembled the fan. We assembled the high voltage service and plug. We assembled the system interlock switch. It's all pretty much well connected. But before finish to assemble, um, let's talk about a little bit about this battery. All right, this is the, one of the most efficient technologies. It uses um, a lithium polymer. Uh, high voltage battery cells very much efficient actually this battery delivers a little more than 300 volts and uh, believe what I tell you it's very powerful and um, very light it, it seems big but not so much as light all right so we have here the battery management part battery I'm sorry the battery management unit all right as you can see all those connectors those are the battery sensing. All right, as you can see, they're orange. That means they're connected to each one of the cells in blocks, of course. This is our access to the high voltage system bus bar connector. And um, right here on the other side, I'll just go around just a moment. All right. We have our low voltage system. And we have the junction block. So the junction block are the main contactors or relay that are activated by the low voltage system. So the low voltage system activates this high voltage relay. The relay uh, closes the circuit and the high voltage starts to flow by these two main wires directly into the front of the vehicle's inverter assembly. All right. So, well, I just want to show you guys a little bit about this one. And, uh, well, basically all I Ionix, Hyundai, uh, Sonata, and also the, the Kia Nero use exactly the same system. All right, so we will continue. Let me just finish the assemble. We're gonna assemble this cover, and that's it. Hey, we have a guest, by the way. Alright guys, so the Ionic is ready to start back. But I want to show them. Um, I didn't quite assemble to the back, to the back completely yet because I want to make sure I hear the um, junction block and I want to test with the scan tool the battery, the, the high voltage battery cooling fan's performance before assembly. Right? So it's ready to start. Here we go. Excellent. Of course, we're not listening to the engine because this is hybrid, so to start the engine. Well, we can do it manually, just accelerate in. See if you can hear it. There you go, that's it. Start. Alright. Well, all good. So, we'll continue. Alright. So we after finish servicing the vehicle, servicing the high voltage battery cooling fan, the vehicle start. The, the vehicle is actually on right now. As uh, you can hear the air conditioning or radiator fan. All right, you see the inverter's cooling system is working. Oh well, yes. the engine start by itself. Remember that the engine will just start to recharge the battery, and that's it. And about this. Type of hybrid system is a little bit different. For example, you compare it to Toyota, that is a strong hybrid. This one is a strong mile hybrid. All right, it's a um, the internal combustion engine with a starting system like this motor over here. All right, and this is the drive there. All right, this is the cooling system for the engine, and this is the cooling system for the hybrid system. And you can see over here, this is the the inverter assembly all right so in the inverter assembly the one who receives 
high voltage current from the battery and turns into three phase AC current. All right, to spin the electric motor. And uh, also has this next connector to the air conditioning system, right? So this compressor is completely electric. But this one uses a dual clutch uh, electric transmission assisted by electric motor connected to the end of the transmission between the engine and the transmission, I'm sorry. And well, basically the first start of the vehicle when it starts to propel is propelled by the electric motor. Then it will uh, activate the electric motor with the transmission connected. All right. It is a little different, but it's very efficient and works just great. Right. So this is the hybrid system of Hyundai Ionic, Hyundai Sonata, and also Kia Niro. They use the same transmission and basically the same system. All right. So well, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe and like the video. I'll see you in the next episode. Want to take care?